is December, or I'm sorry, not December, January 6th. Oh no, oh no. You see the geese flying up? Oh my gosh, I hope they land right next to him. Oh my gosh, I can see him. Anyway, I'm in my vehicle. We were driving to get my our duck blind, and then we're going to go check the trap line. We have until uh, December 12th. Earlier in a video I said December 14th, but I rechecked the regs, and we have until, I'm sorry, I keep saying December, don't I? January 12th uh, for goose and duck. And so we tried this morning to get ducks at that pond where I'm trapping, and we spooked them, so we cut a pathway through and made it so we can get through the cattails without spooking um, the ducks. So we're going to try that again tomorrow. But um, we came across some geese on the lake that we thought they were all gone. And I sent my hunting partner, Eric, out. He's crawling. The poor guy. He's crawling to the birds and hoping he can get close enough to get a shot. Um, I kind of didn't want to try and do this myself because... Um, whoops, sorry about that. I keep... Um, I think I'm, I keep spooking them and I'd really like us to have some, uh, birds to have. So I'm kind of really excited. I hope he does a good job and gets a goose. Um, they're not moving. He's making his way in. Um, and as you saw a little bit ago, some of them flew up and then came back down and I thought they landed on the ground. So I really hope he can get in there without scaring them. If not, we might be trying this in the morning, getting ourselves placed into these bushes along the edge there to hopefully get some geese. Maybe they'll be here in the morning. Um, I see they're walking back out on the ice, so they might think something is up. We, when we, When I turned the vehicle off, they flew up, but they only went a little ways away, and then they all walked back towards the shore. But I do see them now walking away from the shore, so I'm not sure if they think something's up, but they're not sure. And so they're kind of putting a little bit of distance. But there are still geese closer to shore. Okay, so um, it's been quite a few minutes. He's obviously at the shore because... They all kind of, um, they moved further. They were, oh, see my hand here. There it is. They were kind of over here, and they've all pushed themselves way over that way. Let me zoom in, see if we can see them. There you go. Let me focus on it a little bit. So they've all moved towards this um, further end of this island. And there have been three groupings of geese that have flown in since. Um, there's quite a few geese over there. Um, but you can see they're kind of moving towards that outer edge, out towards the end of that island. Um, I hope you can see it. So they know he's over there, I think. But if he waits long enough... Oh, that's him. Well, let me go find out. Okay, so he wanted me to check on the duck pond and see what's going on over there. So, um, the end of this story is um, when I got to the pond, um, there were no uh, ducks on the pond. And so, I hadn't eaten that day, um, <clears throat> and it was probably at one o'clock in the afternoon, so I haven't eaten all day, so I decided to eat my breakfast that I had brought along with me and um, wait to hear back from Eric. And um, <clears throat> he finally texted me uh, about 10 minutes later and said that the um, weather changed and the wind uh, must have blew or something. And... Um, the birds all flew up and went off into like the center of the lake and they were just way out of range and he waited for a while just hoped that they would come back but um, I think that breeze that um, came across that lake uh, pushed them 
uh, to another spot. So he was getting a little cold um, and decided that, you know, it was time to hang it up and try again tomorrow. So, or not tomorrow, the next day. Um, and so I was fine with that. And so we called it quits and had plans for the very next day. Okay, everyone. Um, thanks for watching and um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks.